Neuron specific enolase is uh, a immunohistochemical uh, staining that is used uh, for the uh, diagnosis of neuroendocrine tumors, for instance. In this case, we're not using it as an immunohistochemical staining, but in this case, we use it as a uh, serum marker. It is also known already from a long time ago that it can be used for neuroendocrine tumors or carcinomas. And what we've done at the Netherlands Cancer Institute is look at our cohort of Merkel cell carcinoma patients, MCC patients, and to do baseline uh, NSE values of them, and also to use them during follow-up. Uh, we've seen uh, two practical ways we can use them in these NSE levels. One is during follow-up to try to identify patients who are rendered no evidence of disease after surgery or radiotherapy or a combination of those two local treatments, that they might have relapses or distant metastases. Uh, so when the values go uh, higher than 18.2, uh, millimoles per liter, uh, it seems to correlate very uh, well with the fact that these patients uh, most likely are progressive at that point in time. The other aspect of the NSE was to use it during follow-up of patients under, with already proven stage 4 disease undergoing immunotherapy and to monitor response. And what we see if, is that if those NSE levels go down rapidly, and they go below that 18.2 threshold. This usually correlates very well with a uh, deep, complete response that is durable. For patients where it goes down, but it doesn't go, go, go down below the 18.2 value, uh, this usually does mean a response, but that, that it is usually a partial response and that patients will progress in due course. And also, if you don't see it going down at all, these usually indicate stable disease or progressive disease in patients. Um, and it um, uh, can help uh, assist in uh, counseling the patient, and it can also help in planning your evaluation imaging scans.